So right now I'm trying to pick out a tie from Dad's massive selection of ties because at Rafferty's I'm required to wear a tie. I mentioned that before, and all these are kind of I kind of like this one though. This one's I don't know. I like it. I'm gonna try and to remember how to tie a tie, and it's it's not going well. Screw it. I'll just figure it out later. Getting ready to head out to church, because you know, that's what you gotta do on Sunday. And then afterwards, around like one, I think it is, my dad's work is having a cookout picnic thing. I'm not really sure. All I heard was free food, and I'm like, shoot, I'm in. What up? You know what I'm talking about. I'll jump on the opportunity for free food. First chance I get. Over here at PetSmart trying to figure out a new kitty litter that helps yeah, our cats not smell so terrible. 30 some bucks. There ain't no way. If it's the world's best cat litter, that's why. Yeah, no. Looks like we're uh, stuck with the smell. Yeah, we're gonna do something different. All of these are multi -plants. Yeah, but why is this one blue and that one's red? And they say the same thing. This is unscented. That's oh, and that's scented? I guess. That makes sense. We should get that one because it clumps easy. But then again, it doesn't get rid of scent. Oh, there's more. Yeah, I was wondering about double duty. Yeah, yeah that that would be what we need. And it says it's clunk. Clunk. Sweet. Heavy? Why am I not surprised? Weirdo. Alright, well I'm following Dad currently out to this little picnic thing. And uh, the reason we're driving separate is because I'm pretty sure he has to stay for the whole entire thing. And which is until 5. And uh, I'm not going to do that. Mainly because my wisdom teeth back here like the other day will pass few days every single day all day long it's been like killing me but it kind of eased up right now I took some ibuprofen so I'm hoping the swelling kind of goes down a little bit so I decided to go ahead and follow him out there for a little bit check it out see what it's all about hopefully get some like free L8s you know possibly some free food I don't know I'm not really that hungry but yeah I'm probably not even going to be out there that long before I head back to the house unless my tooth starts kicking up really bad again then I'll just be out of there quicker than anything because like I said before when that happens it just drains all energy and motivation to do anything out of me I really need to get this stuff fixed as soon as I get money and some freaking dental insurance I'm going to get that crap fixed as soon as I can because it's ridiculous what? I'm just looking oh. We got that, we got coleslaw, and we got more coleslaw, and we got all oh, beans. That's gonna be good. Well, I've decided to go ahead and leave the little cookout, mainly because, well, I, I ate a little bit, and now I'm full, and it was really a lot smaller than what I thought it was gonna be, and it was kinda awkward just being around a whole bunch of people I didn't know. Dad said he's gonna stay out there for like another hour, just kind of show the score for his work and everything else like that. But I was like, I don't work there, so I don't really see the need for me to stay. And he was like, he understood. So I'm gonna head back home and uh, relax. Hopefully, get some of this toothache to go away. Kind of remembered how to tie a tie. Huh? Just kind of came back natural. Looks really weird with this shirt though. But yeah. Ooh. I like this. I like this tomorrow's gonna be awesome wearing this thing. I feel so fancy and important. Well not as much so because I'm in a t-shirt but you know. So when I was at that picnic thing I was pretty pissed off because they didn't have any L8s and you guys know me in L8s like I have to have my L8. So I I mean I was I was pissed off about it and I was telling dad I was like there's no L8s I can't believe it you know because you'd expect in Winchester a cookout you'd expect 
L8s. So he sent me a text and said L8s were at the bottom of the cooler. I was like, are you serious? And then before he headed out to church tonight, he texted me and uh, said that uh, there was some L8s in the refrigerator. That's right. My dad jacked some of their L8s. So, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I just kind of, another little perk to today. Really awesome. Well, now that dad's home, just sit here and use his computer because he's got a printer. I don't. And get me this food handling certificate thing. That's the only thing that I need. And then once I have that, I'll be good for orientation tomorrow. I passed. And there, there's the thing. Right there it is. Yep, I passed. Barely. 32 out of 40. But I passed, so that's all that matters. Awesome. Well, now that I have this, which I'm very excited about, I will be all ready and set for tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and end it for the night, edit this, and get to sleep because i got to get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Let's see. Tomorrow I'm going to be at Chick-fil-A from 8.30 to 10.30, and then at 3, have orientation over at Rafferty's. So Tomorrow should be pretty uh, interesting to see how all that stuff goes. I'm a little nervous. First day of a new job is always like, I've said this before, it's kind of like first day of school, you know. But it's just orientation, so it's nothing yet. That comes Tuesday, I think, is first day of training. So, but yeah, I'm going to hit the sack, and I will see you guys tomorrow.